Okay, here's a quick video on how to make a, an interactive PDF. So I've got a PDF document. It's about uh, six pages long here. And these are the page thumbnails, and I've got the tools area open over here. So what I'm going to do is I can actually delete all these pages because I'm going to get this all down to one page. All right, and I can get rid of some of this stuff here. So I'll go to content editing and just get rid of uh, some of the items on the page here. Be these. Okay, so what I have done is taken the images out and put them on my desktop. So for example, they're all right here. Now what you do is you take all the images and you import them into layers. So that's this little symbol here. So I'm gonna go layers. And so this has to be done one at a time, one at a time. I'm going to browse for each image. So we'll go this image here, for example. Select it. Suppose that is step one. Okay. Say OK. There it is on the page. And then I'll bring in just a couple of more images, just a demonstration. And here is image number two. Step two, and as you can see, all these images are now on top of each other. I'll just make that a little smaller, and put one more in. Browse for it, get it, give it a name. Oops. Step three, okay. So now the key is to make them all be invisible, and I can just turn that off. And then when the user clicks on a button, they'll become visible. So I will put add button, and I'll just put a button right here. And I'll call this uh, step one. And you click on the properties. Now that looks like it actually put a label on the button, but it didn't. Uh, we'll do that in just a second. It's really just a name. Uh, so you can change the color, all those kinds of things, and the font size. But really, most important thing here would be the label. Oops. Step one. So that's what will appear to the user and the actions. So when the user clicks on this button, so I'll do mouse, enter, what do you want to have happen? I want to have this image appear, although I'm going to move it down because it's covering the button. And then uh, just click on the button itself again to bring this back to life. And then say add. And it gives you a little reminder about what it's doing. And so it's going to make that particular layer or image visible. So I'll say OK. And then I'll just move, move it down. I'll go back up to content editing, grab the image, and move it down a little bit. All right, I'll put in another button. Right here. And uh, again, I can make that step two. Like this. Step two. Make sure the label says step two. That first step two was only for me. Uh, mouse enter. I want to come over here. And now I want the first one to disappear and the second one to appear. Oh, looks like I'll have to move it too. And then I'll click on that button again just to get back into here. Make this menu come alive. All right, and that's all set. So I'll uh, position the image. I can do that again, of course. All right, and my last button. Put it right here. I'll line it up later. That'll be step three. Go into the properties. And there's a tooltip if you want. Make sure that the label says step three. That's for the user. Actions, mouse, enter. Come over here. Make that disappear, make this up here. I'll have to move it. And again, you want this uh, little menu to come back to life. So you step, uh, click on the button again and then say add. So it's basically this just telling you that the way you have it set it up now, that's what's going to happen when the uh, user interacts with the button. And that's really it. Uh, I'm going to move this so that's in place. So there's my three buttons. Now to see how the user will interact with it, I gotta go up here and click on the hand here. And when they click on step one, this will become active, step two, and step three. 
All right, it's interactive and ready to save, and there you go.